Alright, so I'm first going to reach for a hair tie and then play it cool when I realize I don't have one there. I'm going to go in first and prime with the YSL Blur Primer. I love this primer. It is so beautiful. It adds radiance and does blur any imperfections. It sits very nicely in your foundation. It's really awesome. I'm excessive, but you know what? It's 2016. Do what you want. Do you, girl. I'm going in with the Benefit Professional as well. I just like using them together. I like the effect it has, but you could definitely just use one primer and be fine. And if you really want to be crazy, don't use a primer at all. Do what you got to do. But that's just how I do it, and I like them together. I have used them separately, and it's beautiful as well. I'm going to now go in with a new foundation. For me, this is the Stila Aqua Glow Serum Foundation in Fair Light. And I'm using the dropper to put it on my hand, and then I'm going to apply it in little dots all over my face. I was so impressed with this. I love this foundation. It's super glowy. It looks very natural on the skin. It's glowy but not shiny. It blends really beautifully. It doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love this foundation. I will definitely continue to wear it. The only thing I will say is if you're going to have a really long day, if you're not going to set this with like a powder foundation on top, it might not work for you. It's beautiful, but it's not like a 12-hour long wear foundation, but it's definitely good just for everyday use. But I am like bonkers over this. I love this foundation so much. I'm now going to go in with the Becca Under Eye Corrector, I believe it's called. And I really like this a lot. I chose to use this one today because I knew I was going for a really glowy look, so I thought it would make sense to use it. I probably should have done the new concealer by itself to see, but... I mean, it's too late for that. I'm blending that out with my Kaylin Oh Wow brush I got on Amazon. It was very inexpensive and a really good brush. I'm going to then top that off with the Stila Aqua Glow Serum Concealer in Fair Light. I goofed up. I should have got Fair, and that would have worked a lot better. But, you know, you live, you learn. I bought the wrong color. So I think I'd like this better if it was a little bit lighter. But overall, it blended really nicely. It felt like I wasn't wearing anything. It will crease if you don't set it. I did set mine, so it worked out okay. But it's a very good concealer, very pretty, very natural. But um, just don't forget to set it and blend it really well before you set it, or you're going to have some problems because it is so lightweight. It literally is a serum. I am now going to go in with the Besame Brightening Vanilla Powder I got at Sephora. And wait till you see me apply this under my eyes, but it literally is instant brightening. Like, so pretty. This is in the shade Vanilla. There are some other shades if you are darker than me, if you're lighter than me. Well, you can't be lighter than me, so you'll be fine. Um, I love that powder. It's gorgeous. This is the Paracone MD No Bronzer Bronzer, and the name means like it's supposed to look like you're not wearing bronzer. I really wish that I had put dots of this bronzer on my face before I used a brush in my hand, but once again, now I know. I love how this blends out. I think it's really pretty. This is a great bronzer if you're trying to warm your skin, but if you're trying to contour, it won't it won't be good for that. It's too warm, but it is really pretty just for giving you a little bit of color. So I definitely love that bronzer. I'm just going in and setting those areas that I know that I missed previously with the Besame powder. Now this is a Dior Skin Nude Air Glowing Nude Glowing Pink powder. I think I called it the wrong thing, but anyway. Love this so much. So pretty. Very expensive, but just gorgeous. I feel so pretty when I use it. Love, love, love. I'm now going in with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Blush Copper. Very pretty, but I was way too heavy-handed. I went like ham on my face, but, you know, I'll just blend it out. It'll be fine. Very pretty when I'm focusing on the skin. Okay, this Lancome Absolute Powder is amazing. I'm so in love with it. It's so pretty. It does give you an all-over glow. It blurs the skin. It does not settle in fine lines. It is absolutely gorgeous. If you go to the store and you see how much it is at like a Macy's or Nordstrom, you'll probably black out like I did. But seriously, you barely use any. You don't need a lot. It is so worth the price. I really recommend that powder. Now this is where I kind of went wrong. I went in with that Becca blush copper on my eyes that I used on my cheeks and it was definitely too red. I was really trying to just focus on my skin and have really natural eyes today, but I don't like the pinky red tone in this, but that's okay. I'm then trying to go in with that same glowing pink shade on my lids and then I'll make sure to blend it all out so I don't have harsh lines. It's okay. I just, next time I would do something different, maybe use this a regular bronzer or something a little more neutral or 
brown than red or pink, but that's okay. After that, I'm going to go in with the Dior, Dior Show. Let me see. Oh, I lied. I'm going in with the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. I really think this makes a world of difference in the way that my makeup instantly looks as well as the way it wears throughout the day. Love it. Definitely will repurchase this over and over and over. It's awesome. Now I'm going in with the Dior Show Maximizer Lash Plumping Serum. I don't notice that my lashes are actually growing from it, but it does really set for mascara so that I have bigger, more voluminous um, lashes. I don't love the Lancome Hypnostrama Mascara. I just wanted to show it to you, but don't love it at all. This is the Urban Decay Wonderland Lip Liner. I love the Urban Decay Lip Liners in the Gwen Stefani collection. So beautiful. And I'm topping it with the Ciate um, Diva Lip Velvet, which is amazing. So far, two thumbs up on the foundation, and I'm going to give the concealer one and a half thumbs up. But definitely check them out if you want natural, glowing um, skin. Thanks for watching. Bye. Can't say I'd even notice it was absent.